what is going on guys? How are y'all doing well? So, freezing cold morning today. Go out to a river, hopefully, and target some perch. Brought a pike rod as well, but the main goal is to get some perch. Not done much perch fishing yet this year. So, yeah, hope I can pull some nice ones out. Like I say, got a pike rod, got a perch rod. We'll see what's feeding. It's dropped super cold. You can see we've got frost on the ground. It was like 10 degrees yesterday. And today, woke up, it's like minus one. So, it's not gonna be easy. But we're gonna see what we can do. Try a few different rigs and presentations out. Try and figure out what we've got to do to catch them. All right, guys. Start off pretty basic. A little seven centimeter shad on a jigger. A little bit of a search bait, find some fish quickly. Like I said, it's cold, so it's not really easy at all. So we probably will have to go for a much slower presentation. It's always nice to start with a little shad or something, especially seeing as this is what they're feeding on a lot. Small little roach and stuff like that. Five gram jigger. It's not super deep here, but there's a lot of the flow and stuff. Yeah, that looks good. Let's get a fish caught. Hopefully a perch. Water's quite clear compared to what it's normally like here as well. Pretty interesting. We've not had a huge amount of rain this well for the last few weeks really. So it's low, clear. I'm sure if that's gonna make it easier or harder. And I lost my perch mojo a bit after I had that. Everyone, that was second cast of that. That was an awesome bite as well, and that's a perch. No way. That is a perch. I was just saying I kind of lost my perch mojo after that session with Tom and second cast. Absolute slamming bite. Oh, it's not a perch, it's a pike. That felt just like a perch, that. Just a little pike. No way. That guy's here, that other perch. Come on, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought we had a two pound perch straight away then. Come on, buddy. In the net. Okay. First fish. <laughs> well, I'll take that second cast. Absolutely nailed that shad. Perfect, they're hooked in the top lip, that's what I say. These pike and perch around here are just scooping up these small shads. See you Perfect little presentation from. Obviously, big drop in temperatures, not switch that guy off. I've felt just like a perch then. Like, textbook perch hit, because it was a smaller pike, it was fighting just like a perch as well. But, oh well, it's a fish. As one. There's one. That's a perch. Now it's a pike again, I think. Please be a perch. Damn, man. <laughs> Damn. Another tiny pike. Oh. I thought I was going to be a perch. It's a little bigger than the last one. A little bigger than the last one. Come on, baby. Okay, the, uh, the tiny pike thing switched on today. Like I said, I knew it was going to be different. Take them all. That's number two. More pike number two, little seven centimeter roach again. It's like five or six casts after that last fish. Not the perch. Again, felt like a perch. I was absolutely nailed that shad as well. Felt like a perch, but twas a pike. See you, buddy. Cool fight though. Pulled the shad off the hook. Completely split that bait actually. Might get another fish out of it, but <laughs> yeah, nailed it. As you can see, works pretty well for the pike and if we get in front of a perch, we should get them to bite as well. Looks like there's a dead fish on the bottom of them actually. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that. Oh yeah, perfect, okay. So this is what we're trying to match. That's what most of the pike and perch are eating in this place so yeah pretty good match the bigger pike they're just like hoovering those up and the small perch and uh small pike are just picking them off pretty happy with this lure choice so far that's a fish that's a fish oh, it's a good <sighs> that was a good pike i think that was definitely a pike not a perch damn First one I've hooked in a little while. Big slow head bumps on that and then just gone. So, oh man, still not at a bite of perch, which is very annoying. But at least we're getting a little bit of action. Ah. 
That's fish. That's a pike, I think. That's gotta be a pike. Yeah, it's a lot better than the other ones, though. Oh, right in the edge, though. Come on, buddy. Perch. Ah, oh, not in the mood today. Well, that's a pike, at least. At least it's a bite. It's been a while since the last bite. Hooked right in the mouth. Not a bad fish, that's to be fair. Click you in, click you go. Strong fish. Ah, oh, it's in finally. Okay, guys, the third one. It's not a big fish, it's not perch, but I'll take that. It's been kind of tough. Put the slightly bigger Kofi roach on, and uh, yeah, this guy nailed it. So let's get it back. Get another one caught. Okay, let's get this guy back. Ooh. See you, buddy. Nice looking fish, that. Quite a fat pike. It's cool. Just watching him cruise off. But yeah, there is a little dead pike there that I believe it's been hit by a bigger pike. I've not actually got it out, but it's just chilling in the edge anyway. Again, not a perch, but it's tough. It's nice to get a bite. as well I took it on the drop maybe about as big as that last one and maybe it's bigger that was pretty cool <laughs> slammed it touched down just went to wine and it was there yeah. Yeah. Okay. might be a better fish <laughs> Definitely got a ton of power anyway, Jesus Christ. So good when you can see the swirls and everything from when powering off. Okay. Let's see if we can see him. Play him nice and gently, but we've got a fine gauge hook, so I don't want to bend it out. Well, we came for perch. Again, like always, the perch are switched off, but the pike are active, so take full advantage of that, catch a few fish. If you can see him, it might be a good fish. I think it's massive, but it's uh, yeah, it's not a small pike, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a mid double, I think. That's quite a heavy pie that. Not sure I'll weigh it, but I'll definitely get a length of it. Okay guys, another pike. Quick length. It's uh, 89 centimetres, so it's almost a 90. But very, very fat fish. I need to change this camera angle because we're washed out, but yeah, solid, solid fat pike there. Uh, 11 centimetre, go for perch on the drop. So good. This guy's just munching roach like that all day, so yeah, get a nice big belly on them. Let's get this back. Maybe get another one now, but yeah, I stepped on that. Like number four there then. <laughs> Lost one, landed four. No bites off perch at all. So, 
Yeah, we're probably gonna stay. Oh, let me see what time it is. I need to be home for 11, which I'll probably go back out after that. So I've got like an hour of fishing. So yeah, stay for another hour. See what we can, see what we can get out. And I've been here for like two hours so far. So I might get another pike or two. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this session. So just come to a diff different river to finish off. For like 30 minutes, I had one bite here. So you're not gonna see this, but yeah, started off as a perch session, and as all my perch sessions so far this year, turned into a pike session. Matching the hatch, little Kofi perch, killing it for the pike. Obviously, they're feeding on the roach at this time of year, just slamming into as many as they can fit in, getting fed up for spawn, basically. And uh, yeah, turned into a good little session. We had four, I've probably had about five other bites as well. Not a single perch bite, so the perch was switched off. But we made it work, we caught some fish. And uh, yeah, it's been good fun throwing uh, the roach on the Rodfather. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. All the stuff I've used is gonna be in the description as always. And I'll catch you in the next one.